Sky has to close as complete. And the vehicles will start up. This is the mission director. Go for launch. T-minus 30 seconds. T-minus 15 seconds. Five seconds into flight under the thrust of over five million pounds. Falcon Heavy is headed to space. We're getting ready to throttle down for passing through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Max We've key. heard call out of throttle bucket no, for sidecar. We're through max Q. Vehicle is supersonic. Everything continuing to look good on the Merlin 1D engines. We're throttling back up on the side boosters to full power. A minute 15 seconds into flight. Performance looks nominal. Currently, the next event coming up in about two minutes, we'll hear call out of chilling of the MVAC D engine. That allows liquid oxygen to the top of the turbo pump to get the second stage engine ready to chill for ignition in just a couple of minutes. We're two minutes into flight. We've begun to decrease thrust on the side boosters to minimize acceleration and loads on the Falcon Heavy structure. We've turned off one engine on each of the side boosters to decrease that load. Now our next major event coming up here in about 10 seconds, shutdown and separation of the side boosters. The view should be the side booster cameras on two sides and the center core in the middle. Booster shut down. Booster separation confirmed. Over the cheering in the background, it's going on midnight, but a lot of people here at SpaceX, side boosters have separated. They're getting ready for their burn back to Cape Canaveral. You can see on the left and right views, the side boosters have ignited. The center core continues under full power. Everything looking good on the Falcon Heavy. Next event coming up in about 15 seconds will be shutdown of the center core, followed by stage separation and ignition of the second stage engine. Good views of the two side boosters under the thrust of three ends in each, slowing down their velocity and coming back towards Cape Canaveral. We have shut down on the center core. Okay. Stage separation confirmed. Okay. 
we have successful separation and ignition. We're coming up on shutdown of the two side boosters. Side booster, boost back shutdown. And we've heard the call out side booster, boost back shutdown. The center core, you can see, is not doing a boost back. It's headed downrange to the drone ship. Here comes ferry booster, separation. Cross -ranger nominal. Ferry separation. We have confirmation of the payload fairing separation. So, so far, four minutes, 17 seconds into flight. Second stage looking good, headed to low Earth orbit, carrying the 24 satellites. The side boosters have done their first boon, coming back to Cape Canaveral. The center core has separated and is beginning its long coast downrange to the drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. So at four minutes, 35 seconds and counting, everything looking good on Falcon Heavy. Now those side boosters are making their way back. Their grid fins on all three boosters should be deployed and those are help guiding them to their landing zones. As a reminder, today we will be attempting to, to recover all three of these first stages and all three boosters are currently making their way home. In just a few minutes, the side boosters will execute an entry burn followed by a landing burn and the center core will do the com will complete the same burns just a few minutes later. Both burns are used to slow the stage's speed down rapidly before landing. At the time of separation, the side boosters were traveling slow enough to turn around and make their way back to land at our side-by-side -side landing pads. The center core is going too fast to efficiently return to the Cape, so we're using our autonomous drone ship, of course I still love you, as we mentioned earlier. As a reminder, our drone ship is positioned twice as far offshore than normal, so we may not get visuals of landing tonight. Also coming up in a few minutes will be the call out for second engine cutoff. So coming up in about a minute here, we're going to look for that side, burst, side booster re-entry burn to begin. Shortly after that, that should end about 20 seconds later. You can see both of those boosters on the infrared camera on the left side of your screen. Again, about 30 seconds until we expect those side boosters entry burn to begin. So keep an eye on the left side of your screen. About 10 seconds, we should see those side boosters reignite for their entry burn. Side booster entry burn startup. And we have confirmation that the entry burn has begun. And in about 15 seconds from now, we expect that to end. Oh, wow. And that entry burn has completed. Note that second engine cutoff and the center core will be landing almost at the same time. So we're going to have a few events in succession at about T plus 8 minutes and 21 seconds. Public side booster FTS is saved. Stage 2 FTS Talk is saved. And terminal guidance. In about 20 seconds, we're going to look for that side booster landing burn to begin on both boosters. Side boosters transonic. About 10 seconds away. Side booster landing burn startup. We've heard the call out for side booster landing burn startup, and there you see it on your screen. Coming towards our two landing path.
Brad Booster landing. What an iconic view. We've also at the same time, I believe we've had second engine cutoff at the same time. As we mentioned earlier, the center core entry and landing is going to be risky. During entry, it'll face more heating and dynamic pressure than we've ever experienced on Falcon 9 or heavy flight before. Why, you ask? Because we have to lift the second stage higher and faster than other Falcon heavy flights in order to have enough performance in it to execute four burns into all the different orbits. So coming up at T plus nine minutes and 39 seconds, we should see the center core entry burn ending. Center core entry burn. Oh, we have the confirmation. Looks like that was the confirmation for it to begin. So we're a little bit off the timeline. Center core entry burn shut down. And we had just heard the confirmation that center core entry burn has shut down. And now that the entry burn is complete, the center core is moving back about 20% faster than it was at the end of the Falcon Heavy 2 Arabsat entry burn. First stage Cape Hill was expected. Now we're coming up, we're just about a minute away from that center core landing burn beginning. And as we've been mentioning, this will be the most difficult landing that we've had to date. This will be a three engine burn. That center, that center engine will start up first and then two outer engines will start up as well for that landing burn. Now we're just 30 seconds away from that center core landing. And it's no surprise that we do not have a live view of that center core as it's coming down, but it looks like we got a live view of the center drone ship there. there. Of course, I still love you. If you're just now tuning in, we're just about 10 seconds away from that center core landing burn beginning. that the center core landing burn has begun. You can see that coming down on Of Course I Still Love You. Got a pretty good view. And as you can see on our screen, it looks like our center core did not make it on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You tonight. Again, as we've been mentioning, this was the most challenging landing that we've had to date. And this is, this is our secondary mission. So our primary mission, we just heard the call out for a good orbit of our second stage. So we are actually just moments away from our first deployment of the evening for Oculus ASR, which was developed by students at Michigan Technological University. We will be passing beyond the Bermuda ground station, so there is a chance that telemetry may cut out a few seconds before deployment, in which case we won't be able to see the satellite actually deploy on camera or get confirmation of a successful deployment until telemetry is restored. And we're just about 30 seconds away from that deployment. So we'll listen into the nets for that confirmation. like we still have that live view. Might have a chance to see this deployment live on camera. Again, we are waiting for the Oculus satellite deployment. And as we expected, looks like we lost that live view. So we will wait to get some confirmation of that deployment and we will update you guys uh, in a few minutes later on in the webcast. Welcome back to the webcast for the STP-2 Falcon Heavy mission. We're T plus 20 minutes and seven seconds and counting. Right now, as we left the webcast, we were waiting to see the Oculus satellite deploy. We didn't have confirmation when we lost signal over Bermuda. That was normal, losing signal. You do it when you pass beyond line of sight. 
We also should have had a minute and a half or so ago the first pea pod number one open up and deploy two CubeSats for the Naval Research Laboratory. But we're waiting until we reacquire signal over the Ascension Island tracking station around the equator in the middle of the Atlantic so that we can understand whether or not the Oculus satellite deployed and how Peapod 1 uh, deployed also. While we're waiting for acquisition of signal from Ascension, just... And ladies and gentlemen there, we've got way out in the Atlantic, even farther away than the drone ship, Ms. Tree successfully with a payload fairing half. The second payload fairing half, they've also spotted in the water, but we have accomplished the first landing on the net of a, pa a Falcon payload fairing half. So another first time accomplishment for the SpaceX team, especially out there in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean.